Welcome back to the Empire of the Isles, a rich Victorian-inspired fantasy world with a distinct style and an exotic cast of characters. For Dishonored 2, we wanted to explore a new location, Karnaka, the jewel of the south. Our approach to world creation is very layered. Our art and design teams work together to create a strong sense of place with a well-realized culture. It's based on the people living there, the work they do, the architecture, economy, the climate, even the food and songs. In order to bring Karnaka to life, we've created a custom game engine designed to support our signature art direction and level design. We wanted Dishonored 2 to resemble a painting in motion, so we've given considerable thought to our lighting and the way it plays across every surface. We've created custom tools to support the interruptible real-time narrative scenes necessary for a stealth simulation. And the same is true for our approach to audio, both in terms of atmospherics and stealth gameplay. All of these details make Karnaka more vivid thanks to our new technology, which we call the Void Engine. In crafting spaces for you to explore, we've got several creative goals. We want the environment to feel coherent and complete, plausible. Where do these characters live and how do they get to work? Is there a, vi a viable pathway that makes sense? Where do they take their breaks or stop for lunch? But it goes further than that. For Dishonored 2, we felt compelled to ask ourselves about the history of a given street or shop. What was there a decade before the player arrives in Karnaka? Often, you can see the layers of history watermarks on the wall from past floods, peeling posters and advertisements from years ago. We want every market, every alley to tell a story and offer you the chance to see something novel or intriguing. Dishonored 2 starts and ends in Dunwall, but most of the action takes place here in Karnaka. All right, there you go, your first look at Dishonored 2.